Hello everyone, Mondevu here with another quest tutorial video. This time we are in Savannah Grassland. I really like this biome, uh, not just because uh, I kind of had a thing where I was really into African stuff for a while, uh, largely because of the wildlife, uh, but also because it's pretty easy to quest in. So over here, this is Savannah Grassland. It's a pretty cool place. I'll show you some of the fun things here as well as uh, the questing stuff. Um, our first quest is succulents, and in here, the succulents really do follow the rule of they're out and in the open. Uh, you won't find any cactus here, but you'll find the succulents. And they're pretty uh, pretty easy to easy to spot. Like, sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain just because they're not quite in render distance, uh, or they're in single clumps like that, but just running around, you'll be able to find them. Usually pretty easily. Um, and sometimes it's just a matter of learning where in Savannah Grassland they spawn. Um, that Volnona map that I talked about earlier, that's a good place to check. But also just running around helps a lot. I chose the Alioramus for this just because it's taller and that way it's easier for me to spot things. And since this place is nice and clear, uh, it helps me util utilize the Alio speed as well as being able to just find the quests easier. So as you can see, I'm nearly done with the succulent quest already. It's a great place for both solitary and group quests because some places are not so good for group quests. Uh, and we'll we'll go over those when we get there. Um, but S Savannah Grassland is not one of those places. It's usually pretty solid for group quests, uh, as well as individual questing. So it, it works pretty good to bring your group here. Because stuff is just nice and easy to find. Let's see, I think some succulents spawn over here somewhere. Ah, yeah, here we go. There we go. So next we have, as always, flowers and button mushrooms. Again, they follow the same rules. Spawn in open areas. You'll find them. Just run around. <clears throat> you can see we also have tiger nuts to collect in this area. And there's another individual unique quest that we might get while we're in here, but I'll go. I'll cover that when we get there. Uh, it's not going to be as unique as like the waystone quest or the replenish water source quest. In fact, if you check your map, there's actually no noticeable water source within savannah grassland but there is a water source and i'll show you that as well once we're done with the quests because like i said i'm going to show you the survival things as well as the fun things that are in this area because it's just a neat place to be i like this area a lot all right now we got to find the mushrooms and hey they're all over here this works perfectly I think almost every biome, with the exception of a few, has flowers and button mushrooms, and that's why that's why you'll get this quest so much. I used to complain about it a lot, because I feel like you could be more creative with the quests. Like, one of my favorite types of quests to get um, is a quest that has you exploring the specific area you're in, and it gives you the names of individual landmarks within that location. And I think that's really cool, because that's kind of a fun world-building thing to do. Uh, but there's only a few of those quests, and I've only seen them in two areas. I would love to see those quests in other areas. So now we have tiger nuts, and we follow the same rule. Look for these bushes, you'll find the tiger nuts just kind of there. And like I said before, I think on the Switch these bushes don't appear, so the tiger nuts will just kind of be out in the open. Uh, but I can't confirm that because I don't play this game on the Switch, so I, I don't know. I know other people have said that, that Switch players don't see these bushes. Uh, and that's largely due to the hardware limitation. Alright, that's it for tiger nuts in this area, but there might be a few more hiding in this bush. Nope, okay. So I'm going to go check over here. Yep, there we go. Tiger nuts are much more reliable in Savannah Grassland as well. It's, it's not quite like how you saw me scurrying around Snake Valley trying to find stuff. They're 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 much easier to find here. Uh, and here's that unique quest I was talking about called Anteater, where you collect insects. This is where you will collect the insects from. You collect them from the termite mountains. They all spawn in clumps of ten, which is quite useful. It used to be that every item would spawn in clumps of ten, but then somewhere along the way, before they released Gondua, uh, they they changed that. I don't know why that was a change they felt necessary to make, but that is what they did. And because there's so many of these termite mounds, this is another one that's really good for group quests because you'll get you'll get collect 70 insects. Well, 
divide that by 35 and you and your, your teammate can knock this area out pretty quick. Or if your <coughs> team is already full grown and isn't, you know, grinding for skins or abilities, and they let you do the whole quest, you'll get a significant amount of marks and you can knock it out. So it works pretty good. Savannah is great for questing. Now because there's not very many places to hide in here, Savannah is also seen as a little bit of a death trap. But if you know what to do and where to go, it's not that bad. It's really not. Now those are really the only quests you'll get in this area, is the tiger nuts, the flowers and shrooms, and the insects. Uh, cause that's really all that there is. That plus the succulents. So like really, that's it for questing. You saw how quickly we knocked that out. So now I'm just going to show you all the cool stuff. So first we're going to start with survival items. And I'll show you where the water is in Savannah because it's not obvious. It's not something that's ever going to show up on the mini map. And it can still be a little difficult to find even for me, even though I know where it is. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Around here someplace. I know it's around here someplace. Maybe over there, over here? It's somewhere. It's somewhere in this area. Uh, no weather. My goodness. Every time I try to do a video with you lately, the game is just like, I want foggy weather. This isn't Minecraft. Stop trolling me. Anyone who... Oh, here we go. For you herbivores, here's, here's one of your berry bushes. There is another one in that direction, but I'm not quite sure where it is. This one I do know about. Um, let's see. I think it's going to be... Let's try it further in. Let's try further in. Because that might just be too far out. Um, but yeah, anyone who's played Minecraft knows that when you're fussing with the command to clear weather, the weather just likes to keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back until you sleep. So it's just like, why he do this? Why? Why do you got to do this? Oh, come on now. Where is it? Where is it? There is a water bowl in Savannah, I promise. It might not be available in single player. But I promise there's a water bowl. It's, it's a little stone bowl with water in it that's drinkable. Uh, and it's usually in this area. And like I said, even though even though I know where it is, sometimes it's just kind of hard to find. I don't know if this is because I'm the alio, or because it's just not something that's in single player. But it's usually in this section somewhere. And it'll be under one of these trees. That's why I keep running past these trees, because I keep expecting to find it. It's not far from that berry bush either, so that's another reason why I'm kind of like, where is it? Normally it's normally it's over here somewhere. It might not, it might just not be showing up in single player. But I promise there's a bowl here. I'll pop onto a uh, public server and show you guys where it is. Because there is, there is a water source here. I promise. I just am having trouble finding it because single player is just a little bit wonky. I could have sworn it was over here somewhere. Oh well. That's fine. The other thing I can show you is uh, where the food is for carnivores. Because you saw that you saw the berry bush. We know where the berry bush is. Um, let's see. Water source. Yeah, usually, if you look at the minimap, usually the water source is kind of in this general area here where I'm standing. And like I said, it might just not be here in single player. I know for sure it's there in multiplayer. Now, there are servers where, where they will tinker with the map a little bit because you can do a creative mode thing and uh, add or take away some items. Uh, but that's, they, they don't let you do that in single player, so I'm not quite sure why that's there. Let me double check my resource real quick. Uh, yeah, should be over here. There should be a shark carcass along the beach somewhere. I think it's usually over here. Yeah, there it is. So this is a nice place for you uh, carnivores to go that are starving. There's your shark carcass. Another way you can tell a carcass is nearby is if it's, it's kind of hard to hear over the ocean noise, but there's flies. You hear that buzzing sound? That means there's either a, a, a shark carcass, uh, a regular spawn corpse, or a player body nearby. Now, on to the more fun stuff. Savannah is not a great place to hide if you're big. But if you're small, there's a nice little cave right here. In fact, I might be just small enough to creep in here. Yeah. Okay, so you've got to be careful what you are. But 
there are some caves in, in this place. <clears throat> this one's got a couple of entrances. I can just barely squeeze through. But that's a good place. Uh, there's a few others like that. I think there's one further down that way. And I know there's another like over here somewhere, I think. Let's see if I can find it. I think there's one among the rocks. Usually just check around the boulders. You'll find a cave entrance. Not in every clump, obviously. But, like, in a lot of them, you'll find a little cave entrance for a small creature. But there is a cave where big creatures can go. Getting there is a little difficult. Uh, but I will, I will show you where it is. And this is just kind of a fun place to go. There's not any particular benefit other than having a safe place to uh, safely log off of a server. But it's it's fun to kind of explore and find, and if you're if you're on any of the roleplay servers, uh, it's a great place to go for like nesting and stuff. And dog gone this weather, the game really is trying to trying to mine Minecraft me right now. Hang on, I'm just gonna do a quick cheat. This command here only works again if you are an admin or if you are in single player, and this is just so I don't have to sleep so that you guys can. See the cool thing I'm talking about. Oh, lag? The lag. I'm on single player. Why are you lagging? I know my setup and internet ain't that bad. So it's a little bit of a jog if you're terrestrial. Uh, but you look for this outcrop here. And then you hang a left. And you got this nice big cave to hang out in. It's pretty cool. And it, it runs deep too. Like... There's two entrances, and then it, there's multiple chambers. So, like, it really... It's really kind of neat. And then if you're anything that jumps, like, jumps better than this, you can climb up there and be safe. You know, or if you're, you're something that flies, you can fly up there and be safe. There's chambers back here. There's chambers over... Over... There. Like, it's just a cool place to be. It's just fun. So, that concludes Savannah Grassland, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um... And like I said, I will I will pop onto a public server and show you where the water bowl is at and tack it somewhere in this playlist.